Hello everyone, this is Aaron Graham and I am the member of NYPT. I am going to show you how to put GMAX Builders into 3DS Max. Okay, well, right here we're going to open up GMAX. I already have it up um, open from one of my, I was, I messed up before. I had to start over again, so I might as well just X out of this one. Uh, no. Okay, so what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a box. This is just an example. All right, 16. All right, I'm just gonna make a simple box. Nothing too special about it, just a box. And we're gonna go to File, I'm gonna go to Export. And when you export it, uh, make sure it's at Quick3 MD3 File. Um, name it to something. I'm just gonna name it um, A1. Um, I'm gonna save it at my desktop. Excuse the junk on my desktop because it is crowded. Um, press save. All right, now you have this box to come up right here where it says the following frames add zero. This represents how many frames is in this scene. And I'm sure when you make your model of a building, it wouldn't have any animation, so it should be zero frames. So click export now, and you may get this box or whatever, and just click OK. You can exit or minimize that. Um, next, you want to start up the D exploration software. All right, and this is what it looks like. Go to file, go to open, go to my desktop because this is where I save my um, MD3 file. And it should actually, you could actually look through here to see if it's up here but I'm not really sure if it is so what I usually do I just go and look for it manually it may take some time due to um, the amount of stuff that's on my desktop sorry about that again as soon as okay nope that's not it but that's another building okay here we go right here and then select open and this is what the model look like you see alright so what you may want to do is select Illustration. Make sure you select that. Um, if you select like solid, you end up getting this in GMAX. I haven't really figured out how to get rid of the that look. Maybe I could figure out some other time. But go to illustration, and then to export it, go right here. Select export file, and where is, and you can just name your file. I'm just going to name it A1 since it is um it's going to be a 3ds file press save it will save it and press OK if you want to bother with this you can if you want to but me I don't just select OK and now we're going to start 3ds Max and here we go so since while that's loading up I'm going to select I'm going to copy my in uh, my 3ds file that I export out of the exploration um, software and so I can get ready to put it in 3ds Max should be coming up soon please excuse me let me go and hide this mess uh, it looks so clean now if my voice is too low I'm sorry about it I'm, I'm just not close to the mic I wish it was much closer to me um, should be coming up soon Well, well, well. I haven't opened it in a long time, so it's going to take this long. All right, it looks like it's coming up. Don't tell me it's going to do this to me. This never happened. Never. Okay. I don't know exactly why it turned gray. I don't know. But I'm just going to look around at this as that loads. Hmm. Okay, well, here we go. It's finally up and running. All right. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to go and select import. 
and since I already copied it from the desktop like I just like you just seen earlier I copied it I'm gonna show you again copy and I'm going to paste it right in here now you can save it through here from the the exploration um, software but you have, you have to find it through documents 3ds max imports and that should be where it's, it's located at so we're just going to select this a1 of 3ds file I'm going to open it um, I usually unclick this I don't know if it really matters um, I really do need to test it out but I unclick that and then I select OK and then select yes and this is what I get. I don't understand exactly why it did this. But if you end up getting this little issue, um, the way to stop this problem maybe is to start to convert it to Edible Poly. Um, oh, right here. If I can get to it, right, right here select all those it has it, I think it's got something to do with the um the smooth grouping just go to auto smooth and it will smooth it out for you um, if you have a really big model um, um, it would really take a long time and when it comes to a building it's good to it's good to attach all the files or um, attach all the objects that has the same texture um, um, it won't be able to be editable um, at that point because it, it will be lines everywhere because it will look like this you see how it looks it looks almost like a what's the thing called almost like a patch file but is it edible is it edible match or if you convert it to edible poly you can remove them but it would take a long time if you was a, if you had thousands of objects to select this this right here right there and right there I think that's all the lines and then you select you can um, press backspace or remove for um, and backspace is the shortcut for remove just like I did and I could go back and I select move it's the same thing and that's how it will look and this is how it runs yes and that's basically how you do it um, excuse me and that's all for right now yeah so so long farewell